If you've always thought of pork as just a simple product, prepare to see it as the pinnacle of animal production efficiency. Today, we'll prove that the real success and money in the industry on a global scale lie in biology and the strategic crossing of pure breeds. Behind the world's most consumed meat, there are not one, but three pure breeds that, when combined, create the most efficient pig for meat production. This is the secret that turns a farm into a profitable business, maximizing every investment. For the budding farmer or the veteran producer looking for maximum efficiency, it's vital to know this elite trinity. These breeds don't compete. They collaborate in a system of crossbreeding that boosts their strengths. We have the Yorkshire, the unrivaled queen mother who maximizes the number of piglets per litter. The Landrace, the length specialist who ensures more loin cuts on the carcass. And the Duroc, the efficiency champion who guarantees the best flavor and the fastest feed conversion rate. In this video, we will focus on the details of each of these three pure breeds and understand why the result of combining them, crossing a Yorkshire with a Landrace for example, produces offspring with superior efficiency. Understanding their role is the key to maximizing meat production. Get ready to discover the three breeds that define the present and future of swine production. Yorkshire, Landrace, and Duroc. Let's get started. 1. Yorkshire Breed – The Queen Mother the Yorkshire is, without a doubt, the most important breed globally in pork production. Its origin dates back to Yorkshire, England. This breed is the primary maternal line in the entire industry. A maternal line is a pure breed selected for its high reproductive capacity. They are the farm's piglet factories. The Yorkshire is globally known as the mother of the litter because its main mission is to transfer its high prolificacy and fertility to the next generation, always maintaining its pure line. Farms use the purebred Yorkshire female as the genetic base to create the F1 hybrid mother. This F1 hybrid mother is not a pure breed, but the crossbred offspring of a Yorkshire and a Landrace. The cross is made to achieve hybrid vigor, or heterosis, which results in a mother that is stronger, more resilient, and more efficient than either of her purebred parents. The Yorkshire is, therefore, the biological foundation that starts all modern meat production. The Yorkshire is distinguished by its extraordinary prolificacy and a very efficient reproductive cycle. It typically reaches sexual maturity between 6 and 7 months of age. A Yorkshire sow can have 2.3 to 2.6 litters per year. For those unfamiliar with pig farming, this decimal number is the way to measure farm efficiency. It means the sow recovers and becomes pregnant again so quickly that she gets very close to having a third full litter every year. It is the key indicator that the Yorkshire maximizes the sow's productive time with an average of 12 to 14 live-born piglets per litter. Directly related to this high productivity, the breed has been genetically selected to have a high number of functional teats, 14 or more, ensuring the mother can feed and wean her large offspring without needing assistance. This mammary capacity is the biological guarantee that the farmer maximizes the number of piglets weaned per sow per year, the most important efficiency metric in swine production. Physically, the Yorkshire is a large, robust pig, entirely white, characterized by small, erect, or upright ears. The Yorkshire is a pure breed, and its genetic line is carefully maintained. Its temperament is generally docile and calm, which makes handling easy in intensive systems. They are attentive and peaceful mothers. The productive longevity of the female is vital for farm profitability, and the Yorkshire is recognized for its excellent leg conformation and sturdy hooves. This bone strength is essential for the sow to support the weight of multiple pregnancies, drastically reducing the risk of lameness that would force premature culling. The Yorkshire has an excellent growth rate and good efficiency in fattening speed, with a very competitive feed conversion rate. An adult boar can easily reach between 660 and 990 pounds, while an adult breeding female sow stays between 550 and 770 pounds. The ideal slaughter weight in the modern industry, when the Yorkshire is used in the terminal cross, typically hovers around 220 to 250 pounds live weight. Regarding meat flavor, the Yorkshire specializes in lean muscle, so its meat is pale and has low intramuscular fat content, marbling, resulting in a less intense flavor compared to the Duroc, but ideal for the market seeking very lean and healthy products. Due to its large size and queen mother role, the Yorkshire has high nutritional requirements that must be met with high-density diets. A new farmer must understand that investing in quality feed is crucial, especially during gestation and lactation. If the diet is deficient in protein, vitamins, or minerals, the number and weight of the born piglets will be immediately compromised. This nutritional need is fully justified by the economic return. 
The high reproductive efficiency of the Yorkshire demands that the feed be of the highest quality to support the mother's health and the litter's viability. Therefore, the Yorkshire requires precise feeding management, with specialized formulas that change based on the physiological state, maintenance, gestation, and lactation. Being an entirely white breed, the Yorkshire exhibits a high susceptibility to heat stress and sun exposure issues. Its skin lacks melanin, making it prone to sunburn if raised without adequate shade, especially in warm and tropical regions. In addition to the risk of burns, heat stress directly affects reproductive efficiency. High temperatures can cause ovulation failures and reduced semen quality in boars, compromising the number of piglets. For this reason, the Yorkshire requires well-ventilated facilities and cooling systems, like drip cooling or showers, to maintain an optimal body temperature and ensure its maximum performance. 2. Landrace Breed – The Length Specialist The Landrace is the second most important maternal breed in the world, developed in the swine production systems of Denmark. Historically, it was selected with a strong focus on efficiency, body length, and carcass yield. The Landrace is the secondary maternal line. It is used precisely because it perfectly complements the Yorkshire. Its function is to cross with the purebred Yorkshire to generate the F1 hybrid mother, the crossbred daughter who is stronger and more efficient. This combination seeks hybrid vigor, creating a mother who is not only prolific, Yorkshire's contribution, but also structurally superior. The key genetic contribution of the land race to the F1 mother is body length. The land race is one of the longest breeds, which translates into a larger F1 mother capable of supporting more litters and, most importantly, passing that length onto the market-ready offspring. By adding length to the carcass, the land race ensures the final market hog has a higher proportion of valuable cuts like the loin. The land race is a breed with very good prolificacy and excellent maternal ability. Like the Yorkshire, the female reaches sexual maturity early. In intensive systems, the land race sow can also have 2.3 to 2.6 litters per year, with live-born piglet averages slightly lower but very competitive, in the range of 11 to 13 piglets. In terms of maternal ability, the land race exhibits calm behavior. The breed is genetically selected for a high number of functional teats and good milk production. While the primary reason for choosing it is its length, its good performance in litter care and feeding ensures that the valuable work of the Yorkshire in conception is supported during lactation. Physically, the land race is easily distinguishable from the Yorkshire. It is also completely white and a pure breed, but its most distinctive feature is its ears. They are large, thick, and drooping, almost covering its eyes. Its body is notably longer than that of other breeds, with a straight, flat backline that maximizes lean cuts. An adult boar can weigh between 660 and 990 pounds, and the female between 550 and 770 pounds. The temperament of the land race is considered docile and easy to handle, though they can be slightly more nervous than Yorkshire's if disturbed in the farrowing area. Like the Yorkshire, its leg and hoof strength is valued, as good bone structure is crucial for supporting its length and weight during its productive life in confinement. The land race exhibits an excellent growth rate and high efficiency in feed conversion. It converts feed into weight very economically. Its main contribution is carcass yield. Its length directly translates into higher value meat yield. The ideal slaughter weight in the terminal cross hovers around 220 to 250 pounds live weight. Regarding meat quality, the land race, like the Yorkshire, is a lean meat specialist. Its meat is pale and has a low intramuscular fat content resulting in a less intense flavor but ideal for production lines seeking to maximize lean meat yield for direct consumption or ham production. Due to its size and intense reproductive activity, the land race has high nutritional requirements. The farmer must provide high-quality diets, dense in energy and protein, especially during gestation and lactation. This nutritional demand is critical for maintaining its prolificacy and ensuring the viability of its litters. Precise feeding management adapted to each stage of the sow is essential. The health of the land race, in its maternal role, directly depends on feed quality, as any deficiency would compromise fertility and the bone development of the piglets, affecting the entire production cycle's profitability. Being an entirely white breed, the land race shares the same high susceptibility to heat stress and sun exposure issues as the Yorkshire. Its skin lacks melanin, making it vulnerable to sunburn and overheating in warm climates. Heat stress is a threat to reproductive efficiency. It can reduce fertility and overall farm performance. Therefore, in tropical or warm regions, the land race requires shade, ventilation, and active cooling systems. 
Proper environmental management is vital for this breed, ensuring it maintains its productive capacity without compromising its welfare. 3. Duroc Breed – The Flavor and Terminal Efficiency The Duroc is the most influential colored breed in the global meat industry. Its origin is established in the northeastern United States, where it was developed for its exceptional hardiness, growth rate, and, above all, the superior quality of its meat. It is the favorite in regions producing high-quality ham and premium pork. The Duroc has the role of being the terminal line or final sire of the industry. Its function is not reproductive. The Duroc boar is used to fertilize the F1 hybrid mother, the Yorkshire and Landrace cross. 100% of the offspring resulting from this cross will be destined for slaughter. The Duroc is rigorously selected to transfer muscle mass, growth efficiency, and meat quality to the final generation. In the crossbreeding system, it is the one that provides the final touch to the product. It is responsible for improving the flavor and juiciness of the lean meat contributed by the white maternal breeds. Its robust genetics ensure that the market hog grows fast, healthy, and with superior yield. The Duroc is valued for its fattening performance, not its prolificacy. While it reaches sexual maturity at a time similar to the maternal breeds between 6 and 7 months, purebred Duroc females have slightly smaller litters than Yorkshire's. For this reason, they are not used as a base maternal line, but for the quality they bring to the crosses. The temperament of the Duroc is one of its great practical advantages. It is a breed known for being extremely hardy, docile, and resilient. They are calm pigs, easy to handle in intensive or extensive fattening systems. This strength gives it greater environmental adaptability and superior disease resistance compared to highly specialized maternal lines. Physically, the Duroc is an unmistakable pig, with a color ranging from golden red to dark reddish brown and medium-sized drooping ears. It is a robust and very muscular animal, ideal for fattening, with a body that reflects its excellent ability to convert feed into lean muscle. An adult boar can exceed 990 pounds, while an adult breeding female can stay between 660 and 880 pounds. The Duroc is valued for its skeletal strength. This robustness is essential so that market pigs can support rapid weight gain up to slaughter without developing lameness or weak leg issues. It is a pure breed, whose genetic line is kept intact to guarantee the consistent transfer of its quality characteristics. The Duroc is the champion of fattening efficiency. It has the best feed conversion rate of the three breeds, meaning it requires the least amount of feed to gain one pound of live weight. This translates into lower production costs and superior growth speed in the terminal phase. The ideal slaughter weight in the industry, the F1 and Duroc Cross, is between 220 and 250 pounds. The defining factor of the Duroc is the quality of its meat. It provides excellent intramuscular fat infiltration, marbling, resulting in meat that is darker, juicier, and superior in flavor to lean pork. This trait makes it the preferred choice for high-end culinary markets and for the production of cured hams, serving as the perfect counterpoint to the lean muscle of the white breeds. Despite its superior efficiency, the Duroc, as a terminal line, requires high nutritional density focused on muscle development. Its diet is carefully formulated to maximize feed conversion and protein deposition, as fattening speed is its main objective. For the farmer, the investment in feed is high, but the return is quick due to this breed's excellent conversion. The diet formulation must be precise regarding protein and energy levels, ensuring the Duroc reaches slaughter weight in the shortest possible time with the highest quality meat. Unlike the Yorkshire and Landrace, the Duroc, due to its red or brown coloring, has better natural protection against the sun and sunburn. This gives it greater tolerance for outdoor management and high temperatures in tropical or warm climates. This environmental hardiness, combined with its docile temperament, facilitates its management in more extensive systems that do not require the same investment in ventilation and cooling as the white breeds. However, in extreme heat conditions, it is still necessary to provide shade and fresh water to prevent stress that could affect fattening efficiency and meat quality. We have explored the genetic trinity that redefines pork worldwide, the Yorkshire contributing the mother's prolificacy, the Landrace giving us carcass length, and the Duroc guaranteeing the efficiency and flavor we love. Understanding the role of each of these pure breeds, and the why behind the strategic cross to boost production, makes you not only a better consumer, but a smarter, more profitable farmer. If your farm's future depends on efficiency, genetics is the way. If you enjoyed uncovering the secrets of swine production and want to continue learning about the profitability and management of other animals, this is your place. On our Farm Animals channel, you'll see detailed content on raising ducks, geese, cattle, chickens, and much more. Don't miss out!
Give us a like if this information was helpful, and subscribe so you don't miss the next detailed farm analysis. We'll see you in the pens. To your success, fellow farmer, until next time.